gastroesophageal reflux disease. Heartburn is a common condition, it often follows, a binge at the buffet, or a stressful day at work. Heartburn can make you uncomfortable and even disturb your sleep, but if you get it more than twice a week, you may have a condition known as GERD. GERD stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Gastroesophageal refers to your stomach and esophagus. The esophagus is the tube that carries food from your mouth down to your stomach. Reflux means to flow back, gastroesophageal reflux is the return of stomach acid and food from your stomach back up your esophagus. Symptoms The most common symptom of GERD is heartburn. Heartburn is also known as acid indigestion. This refers to a burning feeling in your chest that can move up into your throat. It often causes a bad taste in your mouth, can last several hours, and is often worse after eating. Lying down or bending over can also make GERD symptoms worse. Other symptoms of GERD include bad breath, nausea, and vomiting. And trouble swallowing. An occasional case of heartburn does not mean you have GERD, but heartburn more than twice a week may indicate GERD and can lead to more serious health problems. Causes The burning feeling is caused by stomach acid moving into your esophagus. The lining of your stomach is designed to handle the acid. The lining of your esophagus is not. At the end of your esophagus. Your lower esophageal sphincter, or LES, is a valve. The valve opens to let food move into your stomach and then closes to keep it there. If you have GERD, the LES valve relaxes too often or for too long. This allows the acid to move backward from your stomach and up into your esophagus, causing heartburn. There are some things that can weaken the valve and cause reflux. More likely, they include diabetes, pregnancy, and medicines used to treat high blood pressure and heart conditions. Lifestyle factors that can contribute to being overweight include drinking too much alcohol, overeating, being overweight, and smoking. Diagnosis To diagnose the GERD, your healthcare provider will ask about your medical history and your symptoms. Some people with mild symptoms may be treated without further testing. If your symptoms are severe or do not improve with treatment, you may be subjected to additional tests. One of these tests is called an upper gastrointestinal, or GI, series. This is a special x-ray that shows the esophagus, stomach, and upper part of the small intestine. The upper GI series does not provide a lot of information about GERD, but it can help to identify other problems that can cause similar pain. Another test is called endoscopy. This procedure uses an endoscope, which is a T-thin, exable tube, WTH a light, add a camera on the end. The scope is passed down your throat and mouth into your esophagus. Esophageal manometry checks the strength of your esophagus muscles. Other tests may be done too. Esophageal pH and impedance monitoring measure the amount of acid in your esophagus. And esophageal manometry checks the strength of your esophagus muscles. Next, treatment. GERD is treated with lifestyle changes and medicine. Lifestyle changes include weight loss if you're overweight. Try not lying down right after eating, quitting smoking, and staying away from certain foods and drinks. Not having alcohol or caffeine can help prevent symptoms, and not eating the foods that cause symptoms will help. Common foods to avoid include fried, spicy, and fatty foods plus acidic foods such as citrus fruits and tomatoes. You should also stay away from peppermint, which causes the stomach to make more acid. To help prevent reflux while you sleep, raise the head of your bed by 6 inches by placing blocks of wood or thick books. Antacids, which are taken under the tongue, can also help relieve heartburn. Many chewable and liquid antacids give quick relief. These make the stomach acid, less acidic. Other medicines, such as histamine, H2 blockers, and proton pump inhibitors, cause the stomach to make less acid. To learn more about GERD, its pathophysiology and treatment options in detail, please subscribe and support us. 
Thank you.